This movie tells a story about a bank teller named Guy who discovers that he's actually an NPC inside a brutal and open world video game. First of all, this movie is a mess. Much of this movie runtime consists of half-baked ideas thrown in between the hackneyed action scenes. It doesn't simply juggle similar elements out of a range of films, it also has a hell of a time settling upon a consistent creative direction or tone. It has a strong resemblance to the violent antics of Deadpool movies. It also tries to be a sincere romantic comedy and a science fiction film about emergent artificial intelligence. By attempting to be so many different things at once, it fails to do any single one of them particularly well. It's basically a dumb action comedy that tries to be clever with convoluted video game scenarios to dress up its very weak plot and cringe-worthy jokes. The movie overloads on technology jargon and formulaic action scenes as gimmicks that cannot hide this movie's lazy banality. It doesn't make enough sense within the logic of the narrative. Of course, this movie isn't about being realistic or logical, and that's excusable if the characters and story had been much better than the unimaginative stereotypes and uninspired dialogue in the movie. The movie's action scenes and visual effects are so basic and forgettable. It's emblematic of a movie that is eager to please, as it's throwing all manner of visual effects at the screen, but that doesn't really hang together even as you're watching it. Whenever the story requires cutting across to the real world, as it frequently does, momentum starts to stall. Ryan Reynolds is likable, but somewhat tiresome, relying on his well-rehearsed style of expression and dialogue. Millie, or Molotov Girl, is the only interesting character in the movie. Her badass nerd gives the movie some sparks that's unfortunately something in short supply elsewhere, with plentiful visual effects but little to care about beneath the surface. This movie also calls for artistic ingenuity, which feels hypocritical at best. That sentiment smacks of hypocrisy given that this film has litany of references to not just video games, but also to movies, including The Matrix and The Truman Show. They also make superficial and self-righteous calls for non-violence that feel disingenuous after 90 minutes of gleefully wallowing in the carnage of a comically brutal game. Overall, this movie is an underwhelming comedy and underwhelming science fiction as well. It's a waste of a concept and a missed opportunity. It's probably still watchable for free, but still disappointing.